Hi, it's time for art, and I'm Art Nico from Francis Fuchs Early Childhood Center. Last week, we worked with the color orange and the shape triangle. This week, we will once again practice with shapes to create sea animals, or another name for this would be sea life. Then, I will teach you how to create using materials you probably already have at home. This lesson is for all three, four, five, and six-year-olds. That's all early childhood, pre-K, and kindergarten students. To start our lesson, we will discuss different types of animals that live in the water. What animals live in the water? I'm thinking of fish, sharks, dolphins, crabs, octopus, and starfish. They are all animals that live in the sea. Can you see any shapes in these animals? How about fish? I could see a circle in my fish's body. And what about triangle fins? And maybe we could use circles for our fish's eyes. Did you know fish breathe through gills? Gills are like your lungs that you used to breathe. But gills are lungs that work in the water. What about sharks? Sharks also have gills. And they can have as many as 3,000 teeth. And when you go to the beach, maybe you can look and find some shark teeth in the sand. This is because sharks are always losing their teeth and growing new ones. Now, for a shark, maybe we could use a oval for the body, circle for our eyes, and triangles for our fins. What about dolphins? Did you know they can live up to 50 years old? What about shapes? I think their bodies look similar to sharks. We could draw an oval body, circle eyes, and triangle fins again. Next, we have crabs. And crabs can swim sideways and walk sideways. That's so silly. And for their bodies, we could draw ovals. And for their crab claws, we could also use ovals. And their eyes are, you guessed it, circle. Now an octopus, we could use a circle for their body. And how many legs do they have? Eight, they have eight legs. And how many brains? They have one more brain than they have legs. What's eight plus one? Nine. They have nine brains. Wow. Next, we're gonna talk about our starfish. And starfish, they don't have any brains at all. They also don't have any blood in their body. Isn't that wild? Now, a starfish is just like a star. Now this one has some circle details on it. They use this to help them suction to things. Now let's take a movement break and pretend to be these sea animals. First, let's pretend to be a fish. Let's swim like a fish. Did you know when fish swim together in groups, it's called a school of fish. Can you make your face look like a fish? Put your hands at the side for fins and pucker your lips. Now let's be a shark. Get your back fin ready and let's swim. A dolphin jumping out of the water. Let's stop and we'll blow out of our blowhole on our back. Now, what about a crab? They
way, swim sideways. So let's go sideways, get your claws ready. An octopus. They have so many arms and legs. So wave your arms and legs around. Wave them everywhere. A wild octopus. And now a starfish. Let's make our body into a star. Great job, friends. Great. We are going to have two opportunities today to create. The first will be a drawing lesson on how to use our simple shapes to create a seascape with animals. Our second will be creating sea creature sculptures. The materials needed for these lessons will be listed on the next slide. Take three minutes to gather these materials and then we will begin creating. Welcome back! We will begin our drawing portion. First, we will draw our seascape and then we will color it in. Let's start our drawing. We're going to start with our fish first. Do you remember what shape our fish's body is? It's going to be a circle. Then we're going to draw our fins. Our top fin is going to be a triangle and our bottom fin is going to be a triangle also. Now we're going to do our tail, which is another triangle. 
going to draw a fish eye, which is a circle. And then we can draw little ovals for our fish's lips. If you want to add any other details to your fish, you can do that now. Next, we're going to be drawing our shark. I'm going to draw him at the top of the paper so that when I add my water, his top fin will be sticking out of the water. Remember, his body, we're going to start with a oval first. And then his top fin is going to be a triangle. His bottom fin is going to be a triangle. And then we're going to add a circle eye. Then we're going to add his mouth, which is also going to be a triangle. And what shape do you think a shark's teeth are? Triangles also. Let's draw little teeth for our shark. As remember, sharks can have up to 3,000 teeth. That's a lot. Then for our back fin, this one's going to be a little different. We're going to draw a curved line. It's kind of going to look like a moon or a crescent. Next, we're going to draw our dolphin. We're also going to draw our dolphin at the top so that we can make it look like our dolphin is jumping out of the water. Our dolphin's body is also going to be oval. With a circle eye. Triangle top fin. Triangle bottom fin and a triangle tail. Now you can add more details to any of your animals if you want to. Our next animal is going to be an octopus. For this, I'm going to start by drawing a hill or like a half circle. Remember, octopuses have eight legs, so I'm going to draw eight squiggly lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to connect my lines to my octopus's body. Make them look like legs. So I'm just drawing another squiggly line next to my first squiggly line. We can add circle eyes for our octopus. Maybe a smiley face. Make it a friendly octopus. Next, we're going to draw our starfish. Our starfish is a star, but how we can make this is using five triangles. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, our starfish had little circle details. Last, we're going to draw our crab with a oval body. Now a crab has eight legs 
and two of those have his big claws. We're going to draw two curved lines and then two ovals for his big claws. Now we can draw the rest of his legs. That's six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. For our crab's eyes, we're also going to draw two curved lines with circles. We can put little black circles in the middle. Now we're going to add some details to make it a seascape. We can do that by adding wavy lines at the top for the top of our water for waves. And we can do the same thing we did for our octopus's legs to make seaweed. A squiggly line and then another one next to it. You can make your seaweed all different heights. Make tall seaweed and short seaweed. You can add other details like bubbles, which are circles. You could add little ripples or tiny waves inside your water. Or you can add more sea creatures. Maybe you want to draw more fish to make a school of fish. Okay, now it's time for us to color our picture. Remember to take your time and color it carefully. Excellent work! I like how you carefully colored your drawing. Now, let's move on to our egg carton animal sculptures. We will be creating three sea creatures, a crab, octopus, and goldfish. Though, I always want to challenge you to use your extra materials to create other animals on your own. With your egg carton, you need to ask an adult to help you because we are going to cut our egg carton so that we have three separate bodies for our animals. Have one for my crab, one for my fish, and one for my octopus. Now my first step is I need to paint them. My crab is going to be red. So 
I'm going to paint my egg carton red. If you want to do a different color crab or a silly crab, you could use a different color. Your sea creatures do not have to look just like mine. You can use your materials and make them look different. Since my crab is going to sit like this, I don't need to paint the inside of my egg carton just the top. If you don't have paint, you can also use crayons or markers to color your egg cartons. Now I'm going to paint my fish. I'm going to make a goldfish, so I want mine to be orange. But remember, you can do any color. To make orange, remember, we learned Last week, that orange is a secondary color, so we need two colors to mix. That's red and <coughs> yellow. Now an octopus can be so many different colors, but I'm going to choose to make mine purple, just like my drawing. Now, while our egg cartons dry, we're gonna use some paper to draw some body parts for our sea creatures. Our crab is going to have six legs. So I'm going to draw a curved line and another curved line. I do this six times for my crab's legs. And remember, he has two more legs with his claws on top. So I'm going to draw those also. I'm going to color these in red to match my crab body that I painted. If you want to draw eyes and a mouth, you can do that with the paper or you can do it with a marker on your egg carton later. Now, for my goldfish, I'm going to use tissue paper later on to put on the sides for my fins. But if you don't have tissue paper, you can draw triangles and color them in 
and then cut them out with an adult for your fins. Same with the goldfish face. For an octopus, if you have pipe cleaners, you can make eight legs. If you do not have pipe cleaners, we can draw our legs on our paper. Remember, octopus have eight legs. They are squiggly lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to color them in to match my octopus's body. After I finish coloring in, I'm going to use scissors to cut out my legs. Remember to ask an adult for help with scissors. Now we're going to take glue or tape and we're going to add our body parts on. Remember dot 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 you don't need a lot. And now you can use a marker to add some faces to your sea creatures. Whoops. If you have googly eyes, that would be really cool to add also. Ta-da! That's all the work we have for today. There will be an artwork checklist at the end of this video that you can use to make sure you have completed your work fully. Then take a picture of what you did today and email it to your art teacher. They would be excited to hear from you. You can have your adults take the picture and send it with their phone. For more fun art projects, ideas, and resources, your parents or guardians can visit my social media at Miss Art Nicolette. Adios.